Hey, welcome in and thank you for joining this storage solution video where I upgrade my Marvel Champions to card game storage from the 3200 card BCW Monster Box to the 5000 card BCW Monster Box. If you have any storage solutions that you prefer or any questions about mine, please comment and subscribe below. Alright, so this is my current storage solution. This is the BCW Monster Box that is the 3200 card size. Um, I was carrying it around for a while and didn't like the look of just the white box, so I ended up getting uh, just these like fun stickers from Amazon and yeah, put them on. So when we take a look inside the box here, um, it's pretty convenient for everything. This is just about everything in Marvel Champions uh, currently. I have um, a couple more heroes, including the new uh, Wolverine and Storm coming in this week. So over here, I have my heroes where um, there's some extra space now, but won't be once I get the rest of them in. Usually I will keep a couple pre-con decks in here. Like um, this is, Colossus, um, pre-con, uh, more so just decks that I have that I've been playing that I can just pull out and play. I just uh, posted a Doctor Strange video somewhere, so those cards are actually put away right now, but uh, I played enough Doctor Strange recently. So in the middle here I have all of the villains and um, everything that comes with those expansions and then that breaks off into this third row here and then here are the aspect cards with aggression justice protection leadership um, so you can see like and then here's the basic cards some extra decks I have and then I just keep my tokens and whatnot in these um, cases that the extra heroes come in it's been convenient and works well enough for me and um, yeah, so it, just, it, it holds everything to play the game, um, but it is getting a little crunched right now because all the cards coming out. Um, so I ended up getting a new solution, which is the BCW Monster Box uh, that holds 5,000 cards. And it came with this massive box that you can't really <laughs> see even in the screen here. Um, so I'm gonna be putting this together and moving this to that. Um, I also have a whole bunch of uh, extra sleeves coming in because I would like to pre-sleeve uh, most of the heroes and cards that I generally use just so um, it saves some time when I'm um, putting this all together. So yeah, I'm gonna build that box now and come back and we will switch things over. I wanted to add as well, everything that I have separating these cards here, um, we'll take the one in front of Drax here. These are just uh, from BCW as well. So the first time I ordered it, it came in with these large ones that have the tabs that stick in the top, but I can't find those anymore. Every time I order the same exact one, it sends me the shorter ones, which it's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe eventually it'd be cool to upgrade to uh, like the printed out versions of things that people are taking and uh, getting laminated and whatnot. That would be fun. But for now, these work for me and um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try to figure this thing out. It does not come with instructions. Oh, so that's fun. <laughs>
All right, so this is the box with its different sleeves and such, compartments and such. Um, now we're gonna build the box cap for it. All righty, this is the cap and it's a full lid. So let's see how it fits. Look at that. It's a box. All right, so now we're going to transfer the old one into the new one. And for a size comparison here, here's the previous box. It fits on top of it. You can see just like some extra um, sides. I guess I could push it over here. Here's the side for it. So it essentially adds just the full new row. All right, so let's see how we're going to manage this. So, as you can see, um, this everything has moved over from my old box to this new box, and there is a ton of extra space left, which makes complete sense because it's a bigger box. Um, but I guess with all this extra space, I can include my extra card sleeves and then my character-specific card sleeves as well in here. So we will go do that. All right, so in no particular order, we have the Doctor Strange cards here. Um, I'll grab all the character-specific ones first. We have Captain America, and knowing me, I might end up alp uh, alphabetizing the characters for these. Miss Marvel, got the Black Panther cards. We have Wasp. What else do we have here? Let's see. Thor's, which, I don't know, might be one of my favorite uh, cards. Sleeves. Quicksilver, also very cool. Uh, we have Iron Man here. We have Ant-Man as well. Let's see. So those are fun to use. Where's the rest of them here? We have Captain America, the remaining cards, because he's already sleeved. Let's see. Here's Spider-Man as well, and then Wanda, Scarlet Witch. I think those are all the character-specific ones I have. I have the Black Widow ones coming in the mail as well. Um, I don't know. I have, this is my favorite game, so I've just been enjoying collecting everything over time. So the solution I have for my sleeving is that I use these black sleeves for the villain cards themselves. Um, and I have way too many of those <laughs> now, so these will probably keep me for, oh, a lot of expansions. Um, but then for the actual um, encounter decks and villain decks, I use these white sleeves. Um, I wish I even knew the brand of them. They're probably um, 
pro mat or something nothing um nothing too fancy with these and then i have these blue mat ones that i use for the my hero decks and i like mixing it up and including um these hero decks sleeves when i play them just for fun and then for my actual heroes i sleeve them with um these clear decks i think these are also also from ulti pro um one of these though so these are the normal ones one of them it's probably this one they're actually side loading cards and what i use these for are um, ant-man and wasp so they can um open up so i have all these side loading cards that i'll never end up using but oh wow well. and then here are these dividers that i have they're bcw trading card dividers uh, and then all of these things were <laughs> index cards and such and trading card divider things i used when i ran out of the dividers I will hang on to those for now, um, just in case. Oh, maybe, you know what, they might not even fit in here, so I think it's time to retire these dividers and index cards I don't actually need. Oh, and then here's another set of these, alrighty. So, yeah, so that's all I got so far. I appreciate you watching, um, I will close the box up now. This is, will eventually get stickered as well, but yeah, I appreciate you joining along for this and uh, can't wait for these next videos to come out and I hope you continue watching. Thanks again.